Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Another fabulous Wednesday for some wellness tips. Coming to you live from Edgar Casey's ARE Health Center and Spa, Dr. Jean Paul Amate. And this week, it's all about soothing your souls. That's right. So after a nice run, just doing a bit of foot bath myself here. So widely recommended throughout the readings to help with foot problems or aching, sore, tired feet, or to increase your circulation, or if you're just looking for a bit of boost after workout uh, or good fitness recovery. Here's our top tips to keep your feet sweet here at home. So first and foremost, one of my favorites, of course, is Epsom salts, right? And so as you can see here, I just have a typical gallon size basin that I'm soaking my feet in. And for that typical size, you want a couple cups of Epsom salts. You wanna make sure the water's saturated. Now, whenever you're doing a foot bath, you want to make sure that the water is just above the body temperature, but not too hot that you're going to burn yourself. Now, one of my other favorites we mentioned before is good old coffee. That's right. You can take your used coffee grounds, put them in hot water, and literally massage it into the feet and soak. And your typical soaks, uh, about 10 to 20 minutes should do. Uh, and again, as always, support fair trade, organic, locally grown coffee. This is from our friends up the highway in Floyd, Virginia. Thank you very much. And also another favorite one is mustard. And so just dried mustard powdered, not the squeeze stuff that you, <laughs> that you put on your meals, but actually traditional dried mustard powder was recommended in the readings. Uh, you only need a teaspoon or two at the most. And again, about a gallon of warm to hot water really good for the feet. So soak them for about 10 to 20 minutes, especially at the end of the day. If you've been standing all day or working out and they're just achy, sore, tired, or any foot problems. So for things like uh, plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, things like corns, calluses, warts, all these things for the feet, wonderful remedies. So after you've done your soak, then what you want to do and simply towel the feet off and pat them dry. And while they're still warmed up and well circulated from the foot bath, uh, then you wanna apply uh, oil. Now, castor oil is my favorite thing to do, uh, but others, of course, we have good old sweet feet. Uh, so Barr makes a wonderful product that is based with uh, mineral oil, witch hazel, but uses sassafras. Uh, so sassafras with its signature smell is also very, very good for muscle recovery, also for joints, helping arthritis, uh, many good things. So try out the uh, sweet feet, shake it up, and apply it well. And my other favorite one was myrrh. So Barr makes a product called Magi Myrrh that combines the olive oil and tincture of myrrh equal parts. So it's another really good one to use. Now also, it was widely recommended to use spirits of camphor with baking soda. So you can take baking soda and uh, camphor and you just basically mix them together to make a little salve. So it's like a wet sand kind of paste and then massage that well into any foot problems. So again, corns, calluses, anything at all, just massage that well into it. And then put on your favorite pair of socks and have a wonderful night's sleep. So now is certainly the greatest time ever to become a member. If you're interested in more content like this, check out edgarcasey.org where you can get issues of things like Venture Inward Magazine along with access to tons of great content, all of the readings, uh, and certainly discounts for all of our live uh, webinars and things that we're doing. Uh, so come on down to the health centers. You can see it's a beautiful day here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And as always, be well, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you next week.